Test seven. In this section of the test, you will have the chance to show how well you understand spoken English. There are four parts to this section, with special directions for each part. Part one. Directions. For each question, you will see a picture and you will hear four short statements. The statements will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully to understand what the speaker says. When you hear the four statements, look at the picture and choose the statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Choose the best answer: A, B, C, or D. Now listen to the four statements. You will hear. A, he is on the phone. B, she is driving the car. C, she is typing on the computer. D, he is sitting next to her. Statement D best describes what you see in the picture. Therefore, you should choose answer D. One. A. They are boarding. B. They are disembarking. C. They are traveling with luggage. D. The train is moving. Two. A. They are singing. B. Only one is wearing a T-shirt. C. They are all playing guitars. D. Two musicians are sharing a microphone. Three. A. His back is to the flags. B. He is facing the flags. C. He is in between the flags. D. The flags are blocking him from view. Four. A. The car is moving quickly. B. The cones have been knocked over. C. The sirens on the top are bright. D. The car appears to be stationary. Five. A. Glass is on a round table. B. Both men with tools are wearing gloves. C. The man with the hat is leaning forward. D. They are all wearing protective goggles. Six. A. The seats are being filled. B. He is alone on the plane. C. He is seated. D. He is carrying luggage. Seven. A. The older woman's arms are crossed. B. A girl is wearing a skirt. C. A girl is holding a red briefcase. D. They are having a formal discussion. Eight. A. Only the women are singing. B. Both women are wearing earrings. C. The man is singing a solo. D. This is a profile shot of the singers. Nine. A. Both men are standing. B. A man has hurt his elbow. C. A man is treating an injury. D. Both men are wearing shorts. Ten. A. The waiter has appetizers on his tray. B. A woman is wearing a headscarf. C. The women are across from one another. D. The waiter is pouring drinks. 
Part 2 Directions In this part of the test, you will hear a question or statement spoken in English, followed by three responses, also spoken in English. The question or statement and the responses will be spoken just one time. They will not be printed in your test book, so you must listen carefully. You are to choose the best response to each question or statement. Now listen to a sample question. You will hear... Why are you late? A. I hope I won't be. B. My car broke down. C. He always is. The best response is choice B. My car broke down. Therefore, you should choose B. Eleven. Would you like to order a quarterly market report? A. Yes, they can. B. I have placed an order. C. Except for last quarter. Twelve. How about we call it a day here and go to a movie? A. Yes, I'm ready to finish up. B. About another hour, I think. C. At the cinema center yesterday. Thirteen. Would you please mail this contract overnight to headquarters? A. I don't have the headquarters. B. Consider it done. C. It is tonight. Fourteen. Where should I put these computer printouts when I have finished with them? A. Put them in the computer. B. When you have finished. C. Take them to the research analyst office. Fifteen. Would you like us to send you a reminder for your next eye examination? A. I would appreciate that. B. I like eye examinations. C. No, I need a reminder. Sixteen. Has the public relations director already left? A. Yes, she has an appointment. B. She has good relations. C. Yes, in the public. Seventeen. Why is the plane arriving so late? A. I met them at the plane. B. It is scheduled for seven o'clock. C. I think there were mechanical problems. Eighteen. Who will go with you on the business trip? A. Mr. Highlander. B. By plane. C. Executive order. Nineteen. Martha gets reimbursed for the cost of driving her car on sales calls, doesn't she? A. Yes, she fills out an expense report. B. I've got to check the cost. C. I've gone on sales calls. Twenty. Should they move the plant to the right over by the air vent? A. It could move in the air. B. Yes, I like the air vent. C. It looks good where it is. Twenty-one. Could you retrieve the files on the merger? A. I'll have a merger. B. I'll have them in a few minutes. C. They have all the mergers. Twenty-two. Shall I turn off at the lights? A. Yes, take a right. B. Yes, it's a bit dark in here. C. 
only the ones we aren't using. Twenty-three. Will you take care of the tip, or shall I? A. I'll have to remember that tip. B. Because I care about it. C. I'll get it this time. Twenty-four. You don't really want to start writing the new program this late in the day, do you? A. It is the end. B. Yes, it is time. C. I still have time. Twenty-five. Who left this coffee next to my computer? A. It's not her computer. B. That's where I left it. C. Who wants more coffee? Twenty-six. You'd like me to edit this manuscript, wouldn't you? A. I would appreciate it. B. I like editing. C. What a manuscript! Twenty-seven. Didn't anyone train the new employee to use the fax machine? A. I sent a fax this morning. B. He's got training for some machines. C. No, not yet. Twenty-eight. Do you like cold weather or do you prefer the heat? A. I'll take it cold. B. Yes, I'm feeling hotter. C. I have trouble with the heat. Twenty-nine. Isn't that proposal identical to the one they submitted last week? A. Yes, I believe it is the same. B. No, he didn't propose yet. C. They are identical twins. Thirty. What are the factory's daily production figures? A. I like to figure it. B. In the factory's department. C. Approximately five hundred models per day. Thirty-one. Where should I turn in the application? A. Turn at the end of the hall. B. Office number five. C. I like turning at the office. Thirty-two. The stress management training begins at nine o'clock, doesn't it? A. Yes, we all have a lot of stress. B. I thought you liked the training. C. I thought it was at ten. Thirty-three. Have they delivered the press releases yet? A. On the conference. B. Yes, they have. C. No, it's delivered. Thirty-four. When did the fire take place? A. In the kitchen. B. On a Sunday morning. C. The fireman came to the right place. Thirty-five. Since there is a public transport strike on Thursday, how will you get to work? A. I like public transport. B. I'll take the bus. C. I'll ride my bike. Thirty-six. Where did Mario leave the renovation contract? A. He will leave the renovation. B. He put it on the attorney's desk. C. He found the contract. Thirty-seven. Would you mind changing places with me? A. I don't have the change. B. No, I don't mind. C. What place needs to be changed? Thirty-eight. 
38. Did you check the timetable to see what time the flight arrives? A. No, I haven't yet. B. Yes, it was a timetable. C. Yes, it will arrive. Thirty-nine. How many franchises does the company have? A. That's one of the franchises. B. We have many companies. C. We have seventy at the moment. Forty. When will the district manager be available? A. In approximately an hour. B. With the other managers. C. Inside the district. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response for each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation. Hi, Bob. Hi, Jackie. It's great to see you again. Did you have a good trip? You know me. I'm a terrible flyer, but it was actually smooth all the way. I'm very excited about your wedding. Is that all the luggage you have? Yes, because the airline forgot to put my bag on the plane. It's still in Chicago. It should arrive in Boston tomorrow. Typical. That happened to my sister last year. How is Jenny? Oh, she's fine. She's getting married next year, too. I can't wait to meet Sue. I thought you'd never get married. My cousin, a married man at last. 41. What was the flight like? 42. Where is Jackie's bag? 43. Who is Jenny? 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. Have you had many sales this week? It's been very slow. I'm still waiting for my first buyer. I sold two last week and I had a couple that were very interested in a house in town. I need to sell three more by the end of the month to reach my target. I don't know what to do with myself all day. This economic depression is stopping people from buying. People seem to be reluctant to even look at the moment. I wish they'd be a bit braver and buy while the prices are down. I'm going to pop out for a bite to eat. Are you going to the cafe or the canteen? I thought I'd go to the store as I left my sandwiches in the fridge at home again. 44. How many houses has a woman sold this week? 45. How does a man feel? 46. Where is the woman going now? 47-49 Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. It's so hot in here. I wish I'd worn a hat. Let's sit under that tree by the lake and listen to him. Maybe we should hire a boat for an hour and then go to the cafe. He's really good, isn't he? A true artist. Well, maybe. He's got a great voice, but he shouldn't move around so much. It's distracting. He could perform for money. Maybe, but I don't think he's good enough to get a record deal. It's no good. I'd like to listen to him, but I need to be somewhere cooler. Let's go to the cafe. 47. Where are they? 48. Who are they watching? 49. What's the woman's problem? 50. Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. 
Did you get the memo about Tuesday's meeting? The one about the Parson project in the morning? No, that's for the administration. I mean finance department. The design meeting is in the afternoon. I guess management will be their usual annoying selves. They never contribute anything useful to the meetings. I'm tired of these meetings. They should just let us get on with the job. I can't wait to really get involved with the main project, but they keep delaying everything. 50. Which department do the speakers work in? Fifty one. What is the woman's attitude towards the managers? Fifty two. How does the man feel? Questions fifty three through fifty five refer to the following conversation. So, do you think you can get it repaired before the weekend when my mother comes? The dog knocked it off the table and it broke on the marble floor. The flowers made a terrible mess. Well, we don't usually fix things that quickly, you know. It's not as if we have nothing to do. It's already Wednesday. Yes, I appreciate that, but I was only inquiring. You don't have to adopt that attitude. I can just leave it if you like and go to another store. I'd repair it myself if I could. Well, it would be faster to buy a new one, but maybe we can fix it by the weekend. Tell me your name and telephone number and I'll see what we can do. But I'm not making any promises. Okay. 53. What was damaged? 54. How could you describe the woman's attitude? 55. What will the man do? 56-58 Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. I've decided to go to ninth school to learn a new skill. I've been doing the same accounting job for years and I need a new challenge. You aren't going to resign, are you? Now that's an attractive idea, but I'm not silly. I'm on such a good salary. What I was thinking was to learn another language, maybe Spanish or French. Then I can use my new language skills to do some serious traveling when I go on holiday. I always stay in this country and I need to see more of the world. Well, you are a dark horse, aren't you? What will you come up with next? Enough dreaming of holidays. We need to get going or we will be late for the performance and I have booked a table at the restaurant in ten minutes' time. Okay, I'll just finish my coffee. 56. What has the woman decided to do? 57. What can be said about the woman? 58. Where are they going next? 59-61 through 61 refer to the following conversation. So, are you going to buy that house? We decided against it in the end, after a lot of indecision. I thought it was your dream home. I got carried away with the village, but the property itself wasn't really what we needed as a family. The garden was acceptable, although it could have been a bit bigger, and the view was nothing special. I know you have a budget that you can't go over, so maybe you need to rethink what is really important to you. That house obviously wasn't right, despite the great location. 59. How did the man feel when he heard about the woman's decision? 60. What did the woman like about the house? 61. What does the man think the woman should do? 62-64 through 64 refer to the following conversation. Why is John in such a bad mood? Didn't he get his promotion? No, it's not that. The printer has broken on his computer and he needs a report for this morning's meeting with the accountant. Why didn't he use mine? I can't believe how silly you two are at times. There's no point me saying anything. He's still in a mood about the contract that I beat him to. 
Well, you know that I think you are both being very immature about that. If you two don't pull your socks up, you'll annoy our boss, and neither of you will get a promotion. Sixty-two. What is wrong with John? Sixty-three. What does a woman think about the men's behavior? Sixty-four. What is the relationship between the man and the woman? Questions sixty-five through sixty-seven refer to the following conversation. Hi. Good news. We got the contract. That's fantastic. I think most of the credit goes to you, though, as you really made it look good with your computer images. Yes, but you did the designs, so you are the truly creative one. Let's hope that we can really stick to the budget now, because I was stretching the truth a bit on costs. I'm not very good with finances at the best of times. Am I supposed to be impressed by that? You may have put the whole project at risk. How could you do such a thing? Sixty-five. What is a man's job? Sixty-six. How can the man be described? Sixty-seven. How did the woman feel about the man's behavior? Questions sixty-eight through seventy refer to the following conversation. Do you think we ought to ask your boss to the dinner party? It might make up for all the time you had to have off sick last month. I guess we could, but he can't be angry about the accident. There was nothing I could do about it, and it was their fault for having dangerous equipment in the factory. Yes, but suing them didn't make you employee of the month, did it? I doubt if you will complain when the money comes through, though. That will pay for us to buy a nice new car. You wanted one for months. You have a point, but I just think you need to make an effort to get on well with everyone at work for a while until the whole thing is forgotten. Sixty-eight. What happened to the man? Sixty-nine. What did the man do? Seventy. What does the woman think the man should do? Part four. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question. And mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book, and will be spoken only one time. <phone rings> Questions seventy-one through seventy-three refer to the following speech. Now the original building dates back to 1758, when it was built as a family home for one of the richest families in the country, the Fords. At one point, it became a hospital, and then an army barracks. I'm sure you will agree that it makes a fine place to exhibit all these fine works of art. Now the thing about the Ford family is that they were great art lovers, and bought many wonderful paintings. But it was over a painting. That a fight started between two of the brothers, which ended with the youngest boy killing his big brother. The boy disappeared and was never seen again, although it is thought that he ran away to Africa, where he lived in the jungle for many years. Seventy-one. What is the building now? Seventy-two. Why were the Ford family famous? Seventy-three. What happened to the youngest son? Questions seventy-four through seventy-six refer to the following talk. I'll try to show you as much of the building as I can today, but it will take you a day or two to find your way around properly. I'm sure you will enjoy being part of the team, and you will find everyone very friendly, especially the canteen staff. 
when you go for lunch. You are lucky to get this position, as a lot of people applied. Your previous work experience will be of great help, as we have some important clients. It's a great working environment and interesting work. I've moved apartments twice, as they are very open to people widening their experience and trying new things, if that's what you want to do. 74. Who is the speaker showing around? Seventy-five. What is the speaker's attitude? Seventy-six. What does the speaker say about the company? Questions seventy-seven through seventy-nine refer to the following announcement. Would all passengers for Paris please make their way to Gate 7 for the delayed 1640 hours? We apologize for any inconvenience you may have suffered, but the delay has been caused by extreme weather conditions. We are pleased to announce that the strong wind has helped to clear the fog and flights will be resuming in the next half an hour. There is also a slight problem in that some bags have been checked in, but the labels have fallen off them. So if all passengers on the flight to Rome could come back to the check-in number three, we would appreciate it. 77. Where is this announcement being made? 78. Why were there delays? 79. What is the problem with the luggage? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following talk. Thank you for coming here tonight. I appreciate that you are probably very busy people, but I can't stress the importance of tonight's meeting enough. Global warming is something that affects us all, and tonight we have a number of experts to answer your questions and to tell you how you can make your home more energy efficient. First, we are going to show a video made by a top American politician that highlights the effects of global warming. Some of it may leave you feeling shocked and uncomfortable, but we make no apologies for that. Before we watch the video and have a question and answer session, we invite you to get a drink from the bar. At the end of the evening, there will be a light buffet free of charge in case you are hungry. 80. Who is the talk directed at? 81. How might the audience feel by the end of the evening? 82. What will happen next? Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following talk. Good morning, everyone. Just a few announcements this morning. As you know, there have been a lot of car thefts and burglaries lately, so we all need to be extra vigilant. The newspapers are getting more interested, so we need to do something positive. The general opinion is that it's mostly down to a group of youths who hang around the estate, especially during the week when most householders are at work. It's particularly worrying for the older people on the estate. I know there is a lot of unemployment and quite a few one-parent families living here, but there's no excuse for this sudden rise in the local crime rate. If you see anything suspicious, don't hesitate to bring people in for questioning. 83. Where is this meeting probably taking place? 84. Who is causing the problems? 85. What is the feature of the estate? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following talk. It was around 3500 BC that the Egyptians thought it would be a useful idea to divide daylight into chunks of time. They achieved this by building tall obelisks and noting how the shadows fell throughout the day. 2,000 years later, they came up with the sundial, 
possibly the first portable timepiece, which they used to divide each sunlit day into ten parts, plus two twilight hours, in the morning and evening. But it was not until 325 BC that the Greeks started using water clocks that mankind managed to measure time without the guidance of the heavens. 86. What is this talk about? Eighty-seven. Why did the Egyptians want to measure time? Eighty-eight. What was special about the sundial? Questions eighty-nine through ninety-one refer to the following lecture. Osteoporosis, or thinning of the bones, now affects one woman in three compared to only one in twelve in men. Studies have linked a lack of exercise, coupled with frequent low-fat crash dieting in women aged 25 to 45, and an increase in the disease, which can lead to multiple fractures. A daily intake of at least 1,000 milligrams of calcium is recommended and can be found in milk, cheese, and other dairy products, as well as calcium supplements. But exercise for a minimum of 20 minutes, three times a week, is the most effective way of strengthening your bones. Ideally, women should be taking these steps in their 30s in order to build healthy bones before the major risk period. 89. How many women are affected by osteoporosis? 90. What is thought to cause the disease? 91. What should women do? 92-94 through 94 refer to the following announcement. Ladies and gentlemen, we are pleased to announce a number of special offers today. The Music Shop has the latest CD by The Rockers in store today at a discount price. Crusty Bread Bakers are offering three loaves of bread for the price of two, and there are lots of new toys in a toy land. The Shoe Factory has lots of new winter boots in store this week, and it also has a good selection of leather bags at special prices. For a real bargain, in women's clothes, go to Glamour Fashions for a 50% discount on dresses and a 25% off all skirts. Why not treat yourself to a free coffee and cake in the pantry after? 92. Where would this announcement most likely be heard? 93. Where can you get something for free? 94. What is half price today? 95-97 Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following message. Good morning. I'm sorry you aren't in to receive our call, but this is Harvard's Electrics here. I'm afraid that the digital radio you ordered won't be delivered tomorrow. This isn't due to the bad weather, as you'd expect, but the model you ordered is out of stock. Now, I understand that you need the radio by the weekend for a birthday present, and we are going to send you a similar model that is more expensive, but we will charge you the same as the original model that you wanted. We can get it to you Friday morning and hope that you will be pleased with a superior model. Thank you. 95. What is the problem? 96. What is the caller's attitude? 97. What will happen? 98-100 Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following speech. Thank you all so much for this wonderful party. I feel like it's my birthday with all the presents I have received, and I don't think I have danced so much since my wedding day. Of course I will miss you all very much at the hospital particularly all the wonderful nurses who do such a good job but don't get the glory that we do. I'll miss this old building, but not the canteen, I must admit. I'll be poorer than I have been, 
but now I'll have time to spend in my garden, and I'm intending to take my spouse away for a lovely holiday on our anniversary in the summer. 98. Who is speaking? 99. What is the occasion? 100. What won't they miss? 100. That is the end of the test.